welcome to another edition of the benchables andy mcnamara and lindsay down here andy i miss you happy belated birthday but let's get right into it because the raptors season is officially over during fred van Vliet's exit interview he said this um obviously kyle is the 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 greatest raptor of all time so andy is kyle lowry the greatest raptor of all time Lindsay, I, I think he is, and that's not even really a debate. Like, wh who are we going to say? Damon Stoudemire? Vince Carter? Oh, okay, that, that's that's fine. Those guys left. You know, Vince Vince left. It's all warm and fuzzy now, but he hosed us. Lowry's been here. He's wanted to be here. He stayed here. Kyle Lowry is the man without a shadow of a doubt. He has been through the good, the intermediate, the great, the championship. And again, no question in my mind that Kyle Lowry is the best. And if anybody has anything different, put it in the comment section. I'd love to debate you because it, yeah, I don't think it's a question. On. I forgot that I can't bring up Vince Carter around you, but also some say Chris <laughs> Bosh. There is still too. some hesitancy about it, but Kyle Lowry, who becomes a free agent this offseason, we'll see what happens there. Another big thing happening is, of course, the puck dropping on the Leafs versus Habs. It's been, what, 40 years since we've saw these two teams in the playoffs, which brings us to this. Not only do you think who's going to win, but the big question is, is this the biggest rivalry in sports in North America? Boy, you know what? I'd say, Lindsay, I'd say in hockey, yes. Oldest rivalry. Go back old school, right? But the problem has been that either for the last bunch of years, both teams, it's been rare that are good. Rivalries are great when both teams are good. And there, there's heated, there's exchange. There hasn't necessarily been that over-the-top passion where there used to be. It's so funny because when you bring up the Leafs to a Habs fan or the Habs fans, the Leafs, you know, there's such hatred there. Oh. But I'd say like even the Lakers Celtics, that one's a little bit saltier, that rivalry. Sure. But hey, we'll see what happens with that. I know you're rooting for the Leafs. I'm rooting for the Leafs. So bring it on, Habs fans. Bring it on. Let's go. <laughs> And Andy, like I said, happy belated birthday. Thank you got you. a pretty sweet message, like from me, coolest person you know. Just of kidding, course. not at all. But you got a pretty <laughs> sweet cameo. Well, let's have a look. What's up, Andy McNamara? Joe Thomas here, former Cleveland Brown. That's and so cool. I love it. Yeah. Uh, Lindsay, that was so cool. Joe Thomas, future Hall of Famer, Cleveland Brown Legends, on my set. I have his autograph and bobble, so I was blown away. But I wanted to ask you, like, that was right there for me for a cameo. The only one that might be almost equal would be Hulk Hogan. Like, I would <laughs> I, I, actually, that would surpass it. I, I would weep openly. It would be amazing. But who would you have as a cameo? What, like, celebrity would you want to wish you a happy birthday? I got Joe. I'm good. I would want Michael Jordan just oh. because I think like I'd want him to cry. I yeah, actually would I mean, just want somebody to dub his Hall of Fame speech, somehow put my name in there. But the worst answer I know I'm going to get slapped for is I totally want one from Ricky Martin. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> There's like it's, it's out there. Come on, Ricky. Come on, Ricky. Or the estate of Dean Martin. Have a representative. One of those for you would be a, like hologram. I know you hate holograms. Hologram Dean Martin message. To Lindsay. Who do you guys want though? Celebrity. Who would you want as obscure, weird, whatever? Who do you want to say happy birthday or a message to you? Let us know. No holograms.